Wow, you guys. Okay. So that update to the uh, to the uh, uh, balloon is that it's been shot down. The downing of the Chinese spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina on Saturday, it marked the first time that the U.S. military has shot down a foreign aircraft over American soil since World War II. Wow. It's... <laughs> Fire next time. That's what James Baldwin said. A mighty fire, I mean, a mighty, a military fighter aircraft shot down the floating drone as it flew six nautical miles out over the Atlantic Ocean on Saturday, drawing to a close a dramatic saga that shone and spotlighted on worsening of the Sino-U.S. relations. Well, that couldn't have helped it anymore, huh? We successfully took it down, and I want to compliment our aviators who did it, said President Joe Biden. Biden had also said that he issued an order on Wednesday to take down the balloon, but the Pentagon had recommended waiting until it could be done over open waters. Not since a Japanese aerial attack on U.S. Navy ships in Dutch Harbor in Alaska in July 1942 when a fighter jet was shot down has the military been forced to destroy a foreign area asset. Ooh, okay. The incident has come to be known as Ak Akuten Zero. On June 4, 1942, a Model 21 Mitsubishi A6M0 fighter jet was shot down by an anti-aircraft fire from the 206 Coast Artillery Regiment, which was defending the harbor. A shot severed the jet's oil line and forced the 19-year-old pilot Tadayoshi Koga into the crash landing in waters around the Coltan Islands in Alaska. Koga died on impact, possibly from a broken neck. The plane, meanwhile, was recovered intact, and its, discovered was, its discovery was referred to as a prize almost beyond value to the United States as it revealed invaluable Japanese military secrets. The Japanese pilots had been ordered to destroy any down zero fighters, but those on a mission decided not to in this case because they did not know if their comrade was still alive. So between 1942 and 1945, the U.S. Navy's B Bureau of Aeronautics performed extensive tests on the jet, establishing its ranges, armor, and fuselage structure. It was destroyed during a training incident in 1945. Now that's according to the History Channel. So, less than a year earlier, U.S. pilots George Welch, then 23, and Kenneth Taylor, then 21, managed to get airborne during the sneak attack on Pearl Harbor and were able to successfully take down at least six Japanese aircraft. In total, five other Air Force planes were able to get off the ground and help drive the Japanese forces back. And for their efforts, Taylor received a Purple Heart for Bravery, which Welts was nominated for the Medal of Honor, but was denied allegedly because he took off without proper authorization. Uh, now, that's according to the History Channel as well. Um, what y'all think about this? Y'all think we're in the beginning stages of war with China? And taking out these, China, uh, these Ch Chinese balloon, multiple fighter and refueling aircraft were involved in the mission. But only one took a shot. The shootdown came shortly after the U.S. government ordered a halt to flights in and out 
of three South Carolina airports, Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, and Charleston, and that was due to what was said at the time as undisclosed national security effort. Ooh. <sighs> I think we inch that much closer, in my opinion, that much closer to uh, China and having a war with them. I don't know what y'all think because this seems really messed up. All right, if you like what you hear, Please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.